May profits be upon you. Welcome to another weekly Forex forecast. We're going to go over the indices, oil, gold, and silver. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. That's, why not? You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, first thing we're going to go over is the S&P. Let's take a quick quick run through the time frames. This is monthly. That 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 is saying uh bearish prices are going to follow. That's what that candle is saying. Cuz inside of that there are bearish fair value gaps and uh and and, and, and whatnot on the uh the, the lower time frames, but you can see after we take the high, we pull back into the break above that uh that old high, right? And we have a bullish fair value gap here, and that bounces, that price price uses it to bounce to higher prices. Here we are now, all right? And we have a bullish fair value gap here. And uh, we want to see if price will continue higher from there on the monthly, on the monthly basis, all right? On the weekly, we have this area of fair value because of this uh, order block here, all right? Price pushes high, pushes higher, uh, trades through it. We create a bullish fair value gap here that is untapped so far. That's pretty far down there though. This is weak, this, these are weekly candles. So what we see here is this bearish and gopher here into these, the, the bullish fair value gap. All right, if I had to move this thing, you would see it like so. The problem is price is pushed below that already. So uh, it looks pretty bearish right now. This is a fair value gap that price has found itself in now automatically. Uh, some people would say, oh, well, you know, we have a bullish outlook from here. No, no, that's not the way this works. You got to use context. One, two, three. That is bears all right that, that's all bears and it's a bullish a bearish uh breakaway gap because price closed below this the second candle the third candle closed below the 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 trading range of the previous candle that makes a breakaway gap right now what we're going to look for is what happens here all right at this uh that was supposed to be a straight line at this bullish fair value gap are we going to see price start to form a, a monday candle here that ends up being something like this here. Are, are we going to find support at this bullish fair value gap? If we do, then we're going to form a bearish uh, fair value gap here. All right. Um, and then price could very well use that to go to lower prices. So it bears watching. Right now we have an untapped fair value gap up here. All right. If price forms, uh, price forms a candle here and it doesn't take that low, right? It does not uh, trade through the low. If it doesn't run the low, but if it just, you know, sweeps the low and then uh, has a, have, have a bullish close beyond that, all right, then this becomes vulnerable. That low, the high of this, uh, this, the, this third candle becomes vulnerable, like I've showed you before. And that's where I would look for a price to turn over there. All right. This becomes what we watch and pay attention to. If price, tra price trades through it, then we know we're going to higher prices for sure. Okay. But uh, right now, we're going to see how Monday and Tuesday candles form. All right. Bear in mind the previous video, uh, I'm looking for a bullish us dollar for the first couple of days going into that bearish fair value gap on the uh the daily so uh i would expect the opposite with the um indices all right uh if the us dollar is going up the indices will be going down all right and the uh the s p has been a little stronger than the uh the the nasdaq all right we have this support over here that could could find price uh turning over here 
we might get some small candles, some doji, a doji perhaps, and then we might see price moving up into this one. But we want to see if it forms a bearish fair value gap. Uh, with with that being the the the, the first of the uh, first candle, second candle, I want to see what this third candle is going to look like. Be careful here. All right, don't jump the gun on that. Nasdaq is a little weaker, right? We closed below this low on the on a daily basis. We've eaten all of these bullish fair value gaps along the way down, right? Boom, boom. This is a uh, uh, obviously bullish. I mean bearish. All right. We caught. We have a uh, a bearish fair value gap here with a uh, uh, market structure shift here going intersecting through. All right. This is forming a uh, a, a bearish order block and i like to see it intersecting a fair value gap i like to see order blocks that leave fair value gaps period all right those are the, the ones i i tend to depend more on to hold price all right so uh i'm looking for price to tap this to go to make lower prices hence this arrow all right but because we took this low, I'm looking for price to come up. We don't have a bearish fair value gap that we're waiting on forming over here, right? No, no, no. So uh, this becomes the area I want to see price rise to because we took this low. When you take swing lows, you expect a pullback of some kind. I'm looking for that pullback to happen. But again, I'm bearing in mind what's going on with the U.S. dollar and uh, we could see lower prices from here. All right. And what is, uh, what are we looking at as far as fair value gaps? This one, I, I discount because we've already tested it. It's already served its purpose. Here we come. I'm thinking we're going to, this might not hold. I'm thinking that it's been not hold because it's been tested a number of times. So we have a fair value gap a little bit lower. Right, this is untapped, and we have a small order block here, and this would coincide. This would, this would correlate with the uh, downward movement, the upward movement of the Dixie, uh, the U.S. dollar, and the downward movement of the uh, uh, the indices to get weaker, and then maybe by midweek, we we may see price turnover but i'm watching i'm watching this because it's primed to go lower because we took those lows so uh i want to see what the next candle brings if we get uh some more downward trajectory and uh we get a close below that then we may have a small uh bearish fair value gap taps in taps into the bullish fair value gap here and my mouse has paused on me and then we can see higher prices all right so we'll see what's going on with that that's the indices all right there is watching all right i'm not gonna go uh, yes i am all right with uh with the i don't trade this the dow because it's the wild sister of the other two all right and but we have a bullish fair value gap that price has just traded through closed below all right uh, we're looking at lower prices and i want to see what the next candles are here all right price could very well open up and close below um close below that the low of, of the previous candle the friday's candle going into this bullish fair value gap here And then turn around so i'm looking i'm watching i'm going to see what do we got what do we got here let me see something here let me see if i can get this right can i get that right no i'm not all right so with that candle it got all right with if, if we get a, another bearish candle here all right into this bullish fair value gap i'm looking for price to quite possibly turn around at the same time 
the Dixie, the U.S. dollar index turns around bearish. I'm looking for uh, the Dixie to gain some, some gain a move to go into this bearish fair value gap. Once it forms, once it forms, I'm looking for price to come up into that and one or two uh, 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 candles there to continue down uh, bearish or not. We'll see if it this this bearish fair value gap holds. All right, there's no intersecting uh, 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 order block going through here. So we'll see if price trades through it or not, and then we'll get a clear sign whether we're going to see more bullish price action or not. All right? If we go to cl- up to the uh, 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 what is this crude oil? All right. WTI crude. What I want to show you is on the, the weekly, you can see how prices hit this high, hit this low, hit the high, hit the low. It looks like we're narrowing into a wedge, right? But on a candle to candle basis on, on, on the weekly, you can see that we have traded into a bullish fair value gap, all right? You can see that we have an intersecting uh, market structure shift along with the, uh, that comes along with the uh, uh, the order block that was formed here, right? Price traded through it, the powerful close. So this area of fair value should be respected once price comes back into it. All right, that's the theory. All right, uh, we came in, we're coming into this, uh, this fair value gap, this weekly fair value gap, pretty hot. All right, that's pretty hot. All right, and uh, I want to see what the next candles do. There's no no uh, wick below that close, all right? So I'm, I'm definitely looking at price to see if it wicks down and then turns bullish, all right? Coming up to test this low here, all right? Uh, I don't know what it's going to do. We have to wait and find out. We have to be patient. But if we go to the daily, all right, I want you to see this. You see this big thing, all right? This is, I'll, I'll draw it out for you. We have a low, a low, a, a low that sweeps that liquidity, a high, a high, and then a low. Took out that liquidity, took the stops from there, and then we have a higher high. This is a breaker, all right? And it left a gap, two of them actually, left a, f- a fair value gap. All right. What we have is a daily sized unicorn. All right. And I was and I was telling people, it's as it was consolidating here. Wait till price comes back to that daily that uh that fair value gap. I mean to that uh that breaker. I'm looking for price to come into this breaker, come back to this breaker, and give us higher prices. We have this little gap here. All right. And I'm looking for price to close it. All right. And I want to see how it forms, how those candles form. All right, this it's going to form a a bearish fair value gap somewhere. All right, does that mean we're going to tap into it and then seek lower pricing, or will it hold price, or, or will it um, relent to price and we see higher pricing? I would have to see bullish fair value gaps forming as price seeks high in pricing. I would have to see that to confirm that this uh, this bullish breaker with the and, and plus fair value gap, I'm looking for this bullish breaker to hold. All right, and we're gonna, the only way I'm gonna confirm that is with fair value gaps. So right now, let's look very bearish. We swept this low, all right? I'm looking it, it, because we swept those lows. I'm looking for some kind of pullback coming soon. We have a price coming into a fair value gap that has been untouched. We have price coming into a bullish breaker. All right, I'm looking for price to turn around, but will it hold? It's a good question. We'll see how the price action unfolds. I'm looking for fair value gaps to confirm the move. I don't think it's going to go just pile on through. All right. Um, this is, uh, oh, we're getting low. All right. Uh, this is the uh, UK oil. All right. 
UK oil, uh, oh, you can see it's very bearish here coming into this rather thin uh, fair value gap. Come on, man. I ain't got that much time. All right. So, uh, and price has closed below it on a daily closing basis. This is Friday's candle. Are we going to see price turn around? We are in this bullish breaker. All right. Price has found the gap. I'm going to make it white. Just so you can see it. Price is coming into the gap. Will we see price turn around here? That is the question. If we see, start to see price form in bearish fair value gaps here, 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 I, I, then we have to see if price is going to hold. I wouldn't be in a trade but bearish or bullish until that happens. All right. Uh, I, I need to see a close past that uh, order block here. All right. I need to see a close past that order block here. And I need to see bullish fair value gaps in order to confirm that price has the structure to, to want to go higher. Does that make sense? All right. Right now, we're looking pretty bearish. Price gives me a close past that bearish candle here. All right, which is a small, uh, which which is helping to form a small uh, order block. We get a close past that with um, with uh, bearish fair value gaps, then this breaker will fail. That's the way this is going to shake out. So I gave you a couple of things to look for. All right, right now, be cool, hold tight. Gold daily got my eye out here what am i looking for i'm looking for a, bear, a bearish fair value gap to form all right it looks very bearish one two three candles it looks very bearish i need that fair value gap to form to confirm that price will uh has a structure there oops has a structure for lower pricing boom and then down i like this on the way down let me tell you why I didn't mean to do that. Let me show you something real quick. And you'll see it yourself. This is the monthly. Come on, man. Why does it keep doing that? All right. See these highs? This high was in uh, 1980. This high was in uh, 2011. And this high was just made in May. That, those highs are hitting perfectly. And here we are on our way down. I like this on the way down. I like this down to the consolidation, at least, at the very least, at the very least. All right. Are we going down to these lows? I don't know about that, but I'm looking for price to come down uh, at least 50% of this trading range. All right. Uh, if we go to the weekly, can you see a reason to think bullish? Can you think of anything to say about a bullish scenario? Look at that that bearish candle. That, that bearish candle is heading down, man. So on the daily, we have uh, these bearish candles, just like we had these strong bearish candles, just like we had this strong bearish candle. I'm looking for more uh, bearishness in in uh, uh, gold, silver, even more bearish. All right, one, two, three candles. Again with this, one, two, three. Got a bearish fair value gap there, and we uh, we came down lower. I'm looking at this low, this swing low here as the target. I'm looking for price to form another candle here to form another uh, bearish fair value gap. And we could use that bearish fair value gap to come down and take price, take price lower into this, uh, possibly this fair, this uh, bullish fair value gap where we might find support. Okay, that's it. I'm hoping that you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button for me if you like the, uh, the video and do subscribe if you want to catch my next videos. Thank you again. Do not hesitate to leave a question I answer 
and, and, and respond to all comments. May profits be upon you.